Welcome to Nerds with Glasses, our very first podcast ever, ever, history. and this history. is your history. This for sure, this is gonna be part of your life from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> this is when they unclick. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. This is your host, Knowledge and Javi Havy. Javi Havy, co-host here on Nerds with Glasses. We scour the internet for our favorite gaming news of the week and discuss it here. Scour the internet. Scour the internet. I looked through all IGN. All IGN's tabs, yeah. all the subreddits on um, gaming. <laughs> everything. I look at everything. And right. as long as it's on IGN <laughs> and GameSpot. I used to look at GameSpot. I don't like their new website. Though. Right, yeah. But whatever. But anyways, the first thing we want to discuss this week is uh, they finally announced a public beta for Destiny. Public. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, so it's going to be released on PS3 and PS4 first, and then on everything else afterwards. In July. Yeah, so right. PS, you know, Sony people get, 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 get <laughs> They're the, getting that. Get the leg up. But here, here's my thing, though. I'm kind of bored of Destiny right now. Yeah, not necessarily bored, but I am not as interested as I was when it first came out. Yeah. Or when, it first, when we first heard about it. Yeah. Because I was very excited. I mean, it looks like a Borderlands with way like the graph i mean not i don't want to say better because you know borderlands did their own thing but the graphics and the, it looks very much like a borderlands style game to me yeah and i mean yeah borderlands it. has the yeah the artistic different artistic yeah. style but it is because that's the thing about this this was pissing me off like i'm really excited about destiny in, in general i love bungie i love halo right right but the first real big news we had was last year at E3. I know this year at E3 we're going to get a lot more news. Hopefully, yeah. Not, for sure we will. We <laughs> had, like, that, uh, that's what they've that's been playing they around. Bring it out. And since then, they've been like leaking information little by little by little. And like I'm just... I'm really tired of this this modern news cycle where you get all this information. Like, Call of Duty is the worst. Call of Duty, you'll, you'll get every week oh there's gonna be this gun in the game oh my god and everybody <laughs> hyper analyzes it and right. like which is cool if you're really into the game but I, I kinda I wish it was like in the old days you just kinda buy a game and you just discover everything yeah that's true yeah. It's, there's no more like I mean there's still surprises but it isn't as big as a surprise as when you just get into it without thinking like oh this game is gonna be amazing you just go into like hoping this game is gonna be good yeah. and then when it does kinda like you know pass through and you're like oh my god this game is amazing yeah it's like it's such a nice feeling like same thing with movies mm. i personally don't like watching too many movie trailers because it yeah. gives the whole movie away yeah it's, it ruins the experience a little bit yeah it's like this whole spoiler thing that yeah get, get killed you know i see now you say that uh neighbors just came out right right um this is a little sidetrack but neighbors just came out i actually saw neighbors maybe three four months ago in one of those special screenings screenings where like you know because uh, you get special screenings out here if, if you sign up for the special program right. yeah, yeah, yeah and all they want is they want to give you, you they, they want to your, get a, like a, a kind of like a focus group they want to know how the movies and an, an opinion yeah, yeah exactly okay so when i'm on and i'm not spoiling anything because this is in the trailer in the trailer you see this part where uh, the airbags get stolen out of the car, and then he sits on his chair, and then yeah. he gets shot yeah. up into. Where are the, the airbags? Yeah, and then boom. <laughs> it's I think like that for that's the perfect example. Like when we watched that, we had not, had not seen a trailer or anything. It was the funniest thing in the right. whole movie. People were dying laughing, and I think that the the trailer spoiled it because when you watch it in theater, like we watched it in theaters just like yesterday. People laugh, but it wasn't. It wasn't as, as yeah. out loud. As, yeah, yeah, and, but that's the thing. I mean, the thing is, games though they're not movies. Yeah, they have a whole different experience. You can watch someone play, and you won't feel the same way as when you actually play. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's really a nice different experience because of the media. Like you have a hands-on, you control it, you do whatever yeah. you want. So I mean, it does suck that they're ruining all these. I mean, not necessarily ruining all these little things, but it is ruining all these little things that are like. Yeah. It would have been awesome just to find it throughout the game. It's a fine line now, too, though, because I, I do, like I said, I feel that I, I hate that they leak all this information they slowly. Have they have to because now gamers it's want. It's all about the hype. Yeah. It's all and, about that. First, <laughs> like, no one buys a game anymore unless they know or feel that it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. They don't give games a chance anymore. Yeah. And unfortunately, companies don't want to give games a chance either because they're not making sales. Yeah. 
So well, I mean, we there's plenty of games where you can get screwed over. That's the thing yeah. too. Like you 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 don't know anything about the game. You buy it and it sucks, and then you're like, "Fuck! I just wasted sixty dollars." Yeah. Like, but I don't know. I guess something like Destiny is like you know it's gonna be good. Like it has like to be good. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like it. Another part of the report is that they spent five hundred million dollars. Holy shit! To make this fucking that's a game, fucking Ca- James Cameron movie. Yeah, I know. Like budget. that's like mo- it's more. Yeah. Like dude, it's more. <laughs> like it's literally more than that. Like I mean, because they expect this game to last ten years because it's supposed to be an MMO. Right. I mean, Borderlands. You know. I mean, it has very much. I mean, I, I keep saying Borderlands, but it has very much that feel from the looks of it. It's like Borderlands Two with MMO. Right. Because Borderlands 2 doesn't have... It is RPG style, but it doesn't have that massive multiplayer yeah. online. I mean, it has the four-player call. That's yeah, the but like this is a complete world, you know, where you can jump into the world. Yeah. And, and it has all these different sections, so, it, you know, it doesn't... It's yeah, so way bigger. I can see... I mean, the way they describe it, this game sounds fucking humongous, you know, because there's... All these, there's three planets that you can go to, and they're all big environments, like big worlds, just like in like World of Warcraft or something like right. that. Right, and look how long that has been. <laughs> yeah, but that's a lot of money. So it's one of those things. Like I know the game's gonna be good. So from now on, and let I E3, obviously I'm a I'm gonna watch E3 and right. and look at all the new information. But like all these little weekly updates, they do like Bungie does a podcast too. Where they announced new stuff, I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> you know, Smash, the new Smash Brothers. They did yeah. the same. I mean, I find that interesting because I'm so invested in the game series already. This yeah. is a new, I mean, kind of new thing on its own. So yeah. it's not piquing my interest as much as you know a game that I've been playing since I was like you know seven or eight. Yeah. This this game I want to do well. This game is more. It better do well. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. That's, that's a lot of pressure, man. Yeah. I can't believe that. I mean, I wouldn't even want to do... I don't even like when somebody pays me $50 to do something. <laughs> yeah. like. Family member like, oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, now I got to fucking... <laughs> now I got to move her car. Like, uh. <laughs> Also, so Nintendo... This is the next thing. Nintendo this week announced... Was it Alpha... Alpha Omega Ruby. No, I'm sorry. Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. Ruby. Yeah, so they're I, remaking. Yeah, I am super excited. I yeah, mean, you're a big Pokemon fan. Yeah, I bought yeah. every single... I mean, besides, you know, the, like, for example, like, the yellows of each... Because each generation has, like, like, a yellow, like, a game that isn't part of the staple. It's just, like... I mean, it's basically a remake that yeah. they, they release later. I've bought almost every single one until after the fourth generation, which I didn't buy anymore, which I think was Platinum. Yeah. Or, yeah, it was platinum. So, you know, I didn't buy it, but Ho, the third generation, which is Ruby Sapphire, was one of my favorites. It was Game Boy Advance, and it had some of the, I mean, it had Blaziken, one of the coolest Pokemon, in my opinion, yeah. for a long time. And it's one of the most powerful, to be honest. And I'm really glad that they're remaking it. People have been, you know, rumoring, like, oh, yeah. they're going to remake it. Because it was, I think, the only one left besides the first generation that isn't on the DS. Yeah. It's the only one left. And, I mean, for transferring purposes, a lot of people want it to be easier to transfer. They don't have the means to transfer it transfer any other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm really excited. I mean, I I, I, I only ever played the first Pokemon. Right. Like, I only ever played... Red yeah, you need to get on. I, I yeah, no, I know. Like, mine. God damn it. Like, <laughs> no, like, I really... I just want them to make a 3D Pokemon. Like I don't, I don't want them. I don't want them. Like you know, like well, there was you know, Pokemon Coliseum. Don't. <laughs> I'm just saying that's those. No, no, there. no! Don't even, don't even bring that shit to I me. I played like, those, so I mean, I liked. I, no. I played every anything Pokemon, but oh. you're, you're right. A lot of people didn't like it because it wasn't the typical formula. Of okay, look, this is all I'm saying. Take the original Pokemon <laughs> and make it a 3D game where you're walking around in a 3D environment. Well, I mean, you've seen. I mean, I play. No, X and I, y is very much. I mean, it's not a fucking you know a console game. Yeah. But it is a big step from what they had the other games because it is like you can move diagonally. Like, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that it's just a yeah, completely but, different view of the game. I'm just saying, like yeah, no, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're like allergic to making money. You know what I'm <laughs> like that's just one of the that ideas. Make, if like, I worked at Nintendo, I'd be like, yo, let's let's remake part fucking the red <laughs> and red, blue, and yellow, and make it so that you can walk around 
like right. a real 3D, like if it was like First Zelda or something. Yeah, yeah okay. like dude, yeah, that, yeah, that would be. I would buy that game twice. <laughs> like, <laughs> all three times. All three, every yeah, version. every single one. Doesn't Two matter. of them, yeah. Just to support, I would buy it twice. <laughs> but I, I mean, I do want. I have, you know, I have wanted to play Pokemon because, like, I mean, I, I miss it. I mean, when I was, I loved it when I was a kid. Right. Um, but I, I just like. You know what turned me off was just I didn't I didn't know the Pokemon because I used to watch the cartoons so yeah, I so knew the yeah, Pokemon yeah, yeah so then when they started making ones that weren't part of the cartoons right I was like who the fuck and a lot of the, a lot of the Pokemon started being kind of like real animals in real yeah, life yeah yeah see know? I felt that to be honest like I didn't feel that with Generation Two I didn't feel that with Generation Three with Generation I mean there was that element that they did start looking more I guess. Mm, as stuff in the environment but they yeah. always were like you know Pidgey was a you know, a bird yeah. yeah I mean stuff that's like that that's true that's true but but as it went on the the generation I, I almost stopped playing Pokemon in general was black and white I just didn't like the Pokemon I guess I had the feeling that you had yeah you know because I still watched the show afterwards I'm sure you only watched the first the first, season. Yeah, first couple seasons yeah. yeah I watched the Johto I watched all of them yeah or not all of them I stopped eventually but I watch all the movies yeah. they're just you know but uh you, the black and white was where I felt the game kind of like for me was just like where is it going and the story for me wasn't very yeah good compared to like previous generations but um you know X and Y really changed that yeah and if what I'm hoping what I'm scared of is it's just gonna be a straight remake yeah which I wouldn't mind but I mean as long as they have the same graphics as they do in X and Y that's flying yeah. fine but you know the, in the little teaser that they showed it was like new adventure so I'm like so this is going to be a completely different story dude yeah, well, be- well, oh yo you know damn well the words don't mean shit that does, but, like- you, know, you, know, you want to speculate because yeah. I mean it says it's specifically it's like new adventure it's like they wouldn't I mean to me in my head it's like they, they can't be saying that and mean the same exact story yeah. but you know they could which is would be fine Yeah. But, I mean if they up the graphics that's really the 3D effects for all the Pokemon they made was awesome yeah the effects I mean the graphics in the game in general are just amazing compared to, of course to the other generation well I'm sure well my th- well, it has to be the same story though because otherwise they wouldn't call it Sapphire well it could or, be uh, like or maybe example, there's another character's perspective like or um, cause like yeah cause black and white they had black and white and then black and white too yeah the first game I did not like the second game was I liked and you're like I mean, to be honest, whenever a Pokemon game comes out, they always have, like I said, that third game that's yeah. separate from the staple. Yeah. This one was two different games, and they were set two years after the first game. Okay, so, so it was you, different. If, if it was, I mean, it was a you you follow the same trail, but it's a, a different story. Well, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I remember when I bought Yellow, I felt cheated. Yeah, because the only thing is that Pikachu's behind you. That's, That's it. it. And you start with Pikachu. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Pikachu's not even that much of a beast. <laughs> like, you know, I don't even... He's no Squirtle. He's no fucking Charmander. No. Then that's... that's yeah so yeah. that's what that's what that's that's for me and then another game they remade was um well the fire red and leaf green that yeah. was mostly for I, i'm assuming for transferring reasons because it was harder to transfer from the older games but they remade um soul silver and or silver and gold yeah well they they've remade, made they've remade everyone haven't they pretty much from the old ones now because they only remade the they made remade red and green red and blue into red and green for game boy advance and uh, besides besides the second well yeah they went to the second generation so they've only done two generations so far yeah and now this one and now this one so uh, I mean I'm assuming I don't think they're gonna keep doing that yeah. but it's just because of the technology at the time well I mean well, technology is gonna keep jumping yeah so, that's true I guess so unless they start making you know a, a Wii Pokemon <laughs> game that's like a legit Pokemon game 3D, 3D game. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. But that also brings us to another question about remakes in general. Like, recently, uh, they announced The Last of Us Remastered. Right. Uh, we played Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Yes, that's did, on yeah. our channel. Um, they just announced Mass Effect Trilogy Remake. How do you feel about the remakes in general? Games like uh, The Definitive Edition and Last of Us. I, I mean, Tomb Raider, I'm sorry. Yeah. And The Last of Us. I feel they're too close in generate. Like, yeah. you know, when you when God of even the God of War trilogy was remade, but it was the first two were remade Made for the for HD, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, 
it was a difference, but at the same time, it's like, dude, did you really need to remake it? And yeah. especially these two games are probably going to be another sixty dollars games yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I'm sure. I I don't. I didn't. I didn't buy Tomb Raider, but you had it here, and it was. Yeah. It was pretty much. Retail yeah, it's, price. A, it's a retail price game. Yeah, yeah. And most most times when, especially when it's older games, they, when they remake them, they're substantially less. Yeah. And I mean, they're remaking. You know this. Um, DS, I mean, this Pokemon game is probably going to be retail price of whatever the X and Y was. Yeah. So, I mean, it kind of sucks because it, if it is a new story, that's completely different. Yeah. But Last of Us, they're, they're not, I mean, even if they add DLC, it's not going to be worth it for another 60 bucks. Just, I mean, it might be worth it to some people, but for me, it, yeah. it wouldn't be worth it just for a little bit better graphics. I think I think part of it, I think you could, like, if you're a fan of the game, I think you can feel kind of cheated too. Like, yeah. Cause you're like, man, I should have just waited, like, <laughs> or, or like, you know, for for like, so, pay for the first time? Yeah, like, so for, so for sixty bucks, I can play a better graphical version with DLC, like, yeah. oh, less than a year later. Well, like, it's the same thing, you know, game of the year editions. I mean, a lot of people yeah. buy the. I mean, it's not a remake, and people don't always buy that. But some people yeah. wait out. Some people buy both. Yeah. It really, it's your preference, but it is when you remake a game, it's. Or just straight remake it yeah. with a little bit better graphics. It's not even usually that much greater on it. I mean, if they redid the whole game yeah. with new graphics, that would be a completely different thing. Yeah. But it wouldn't be worth it for them to do that. Or I guess maybe maybe remake's the wrong word because what what those are they're like remastered. H- they're like yeah. HD ports. Yeah. Okay. Like remastered. Yeah. And like I mean, I say some people feel cheated. Like, I don't feel cheated. Right. It depends on the game. Like, it, I would feel cheated for a game like Tomb Raider or The Last of Us. Yeah. Uh, I didn't feel cheated when I bought the leaf green and yeah and, and fire red. I didn't feel cheated. Yeah. But that I mean that's it's a whole generation later. Yeah. I mean I, I think if you're a fan of the game, then whatever you know yeah, like that's true. Like I because like for example Ocarina of Time, I bought that game at least six times <laughs> from all of, yeah all like I bought it on the, every single I week. bought it on the 64 I bought it on the virtual console I bought it in the GameCube as the, they had like a whole disc set or whatever you know like I, I bought the game so many times <laughs> if I had a 3DS I'd buy it on 3DS like right. It's just like I don't care. You can keep selling it to me. I'll keep buying it because I just love. But the you game. wouldn't buy it again. Like if you had it for the maybe for the uh, if it was let's say let's say it came out on GameCube yeah. and then it came out on the 3DS yeah. yeah. But if it came out on the DS and then they remade it again for the 3DS yeah, they're probably pretty, they're they're too close. Yeah, you know it is a like there's a thing like there's a there's a there's a fan part of it but there's also a, how close they are in generation like yeah where the where, i mean though that's a game where you just want to play it. yeah it's, it would be awesome just to play on your handheld so you might want to do that but a game like if you're gonna have it on your console anyways it doesn't well see I, that's why i hope that's why i wish they would add like so you're saying like it'll be cool they had a different adventure mm-hmm. for the alpha see now that'd be sick like if like let's say tomb raider definitive edition like if you played it it's the exact same game just with new graphics Right now, it would have been sick if they added like another area or so you know, yeah, just like something, something, something to make it worth it. Yeah, like maybe like two or three more tombs, whatever. Just yeah. like give me, give me something extra. So I don't feel like I'm uh, playing the exact same game. Yeah, with the yeah DLC I mean, that I didn't buy. Yeah, but I mean the DLC you can't add that and make make that feel like it's a new thing. Yeah, because especially if the people already bought the DLC. We'll, we'll see because I, I know they're not going to stop doing these because it's just money. Free yeah, money. Is. Because you don't have to, re- like, I, I don't know what the logistics are, but maybe they have like two or three guys adding new HD textures to Some, the system. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we don't know. that's, what, that's yeah, what I'm saying. That's yeah. why it wouldn't be worth it for them to yeah. completely remake the whole game of graphics. Like, that's what, like, Pokemon, I love that they did it yeah. with the, you know, Soul Silver, so Gold and Silver to Soul Silver. The graphics are made for the new, which is not amazing graphics to be honest. Yeah. But it, they were, did change those graphics to be up to par with the DS games, yeah. which was a nice touch. Yeah. Especially like the old. I, I mean, I don't know about the Game Boy Advance, but like the Game Boy, yeah. like color, color quote yeah. unquote color. That shit was not color. His uh, hat. The color per town. Yeah, <laughs> like it was. His hat was red, and everybody else was black. Like. <laughs> That was the whole color. Like, right. I don't remember, but it was still fun. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. You can't take away how that game touched us pretty much. Like, how <laughs> it influenced me. <laughs> All right, so look. I got this story. I'm going I'm to I'm read you part of the story that I found. Okay. All right, you this never, one you didn't show me. Uh, you've never heard of this story before. I think this is a really cool story. All right? Okay. 
So, this was reported by Polygon a week ago, last week. Um, so, Denmark has been totally recreated in a sandbox game, in the sandbox game Minecraft. Right? Of course, you're right. You're yeah. Right. You've heard of this game. I, well, you know, <laughs> I know you're not a fan of it. No, I, I've played this game for a long time. No, I know, but it's just like, it's like asking any gamers if I've... <laughs> You've heard of you've Modern heard of Warfare? Game. Like you, <laughs> you've heard of COD, right? Yeah, you've heard of COD. No, that's not a fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, dude, I know what Minecraft is. I was like, okay, I'm just reading you what the, the, the article says. Calm down. All right. All right. So Denmark totally recreated the country in Minecraft. Oh, wow. Okay. I have heard of a story similar to this. Okay. They totally recreated the country on a one-to-one scale. Wow. So it's not just like little abridged versions. Right. They recreated the entire country. So I can and, and, walk with my yeah. iPad <laughs> and me, the trail. Let me give you some statistics. Four trillion blocks were used. A terabyte of data wow. to make For this work. Yeah, to make this map. That's how big this map is. I don't know how long. It, they didn't report how long... It, it took? took. It took. Was this, you know, just players or? Okay, so it was the. Uh, if it is Denmark, you know. So it was the Danish Geodata Agency. It's like a government agency. Really. That that did it. Now part of their goal was after they were done, they wanted to release it to the public, and they encouraged schools to use it as a way to learn like urban planning. Oh, and, that's like. like architecture I mean, I'm not necessarily yeah no yeah all yeah. that too like just like planning different areas so you can literally be in this world if you're from denmark and walk to your house <laughs> like wow i just think that's well, fucking you sick. know <laughs> i followed minecraft for a long time a long time ago they were trying to recreate all of westeros uh-huh. like, from the game of thrones yeah, series, yeah yeah right and i mean there was i i, I never was able to actually go into it once they were like done but i did follow it for a while because they Seemed like an amazing idea that you can just recreate. Well, this in this case, it was a place that didn't exist. Yeah. But actually recreating, like, it's pretty awesome. That's pretty fucking sick. Dude. <laughs> and just just to give you a perspective of how big this is, I looked this up. So we're in, we're from California. We're right. in California. California is ten times bigger than Denmark. Okay. So, so like Denmark's not the size of Russia. You know, like, <laughs> of course. Yeah. It's it is it's big. It's probably the size of a big city like LA or like uh New York or something Maybe, like yeah, that. Yeah. But that's a lot of construction. And you guys see you can see some of these videos on YouTube. Just look up the uh Dan- Denmark mm, Denmark Minecraft. Denmark <laughs> Mark, Minecraft and it's just it's a crazy crazy thing. I mean, how do you think like this stuff helps kids do you think this stuff helps well, kids like with minecraft in general i mean you know kids love minecraft it's, it's legos but on a completely different scale you know what it is it's crazy because I, I didn't think about that before like i know you constructed that i was just i never liked minecraft it right. just seemed no, boring yeah, just like yeah. building things but i do it's love lego yeah. i do love legos and it just makes sense that you say it that way yeah right? it is you know in, like it's a one for one ratio a, imagine a giant basically another Denmark made out of Legos pretty much it's, yeah I mean kids can follow this instead of having to walk yeah you know they'll see from above they'll be able to like just a completely and one it's a game so they'll you know kids love games yeah so they'll be invested already but it's just a whole different way to like teach it to them like yeah. game I mean I love the idea of putting games and learning together yeah it's just like why don't they do more with it and this is a step in that direction like Will do this stuff and it's like I mean I'm not sure like what I mean I don't know if the article mentions anything about what they're using it for because I'm assuming it's just recently been yeah I mean I, I think I think it took them like a year to do <laughs> well I mean first of all I mean if, if you're if the government has a division for geology you probably don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, yeah, whoa, like, whoa we don't want to offend any geologists yeah, like, out there I don't care like <laughs> I don't like you if you're in the geology division you're like looking at mountains and shit like yeah. I don't know what the fuck you do yeah, we wouldn't know. and they finally gave them something to do they're like bro we, <laughs> I got the, yeah, we got we got the probably the whole department was just playing on Minecraft like, imagine the president walking in you know like what if it was like in America and Obama walked in it's just like what the fuck are you niggas doing like <laughs> dude we're helping the kids like it's for the kids but I mean it is 
you know, it is impressive. <laughs> no, it's su- it's super impressive. I wonder, like, I wish they get more. Like, I want to know how many people Time. worked on it. How long did it take? This game's been out for a while. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been out for years and years. So. They could have been making it for years. Yeah, years, I mean, because something, something like that has to take time. Plus, you have to be good at understanding how the game works and all that. So, I mean, it's super, super impressive. I wish somebody, now now that that happened, like, I would honestly, like, if somebody recreated, yeah, like, if you you already made a country, why doesn't every country, every state, it should be like, (laughs) you know, (laughs) you know, and I'm like thinking, like, if I were a teacher, I would seriously, like, consider this as like a year long project, project uh, like group projects it's just like a uh, city or even like, I mean for kids maybe something as small as a school area yeah or, right. or maybe that that yeah something like that like we can incorporate incorporate Google Maps like you know <laughs> so they can see what it looks man yeah the thing is though I mean you do have to like it is still a game so there's still a lot of like you know there's gonna be you know people fucking shit up and whatever yeah it's just gonna be like very much I mean, they they would have to take you know that element out of it, okay, which I think well, Minecraft can do. I'm glad you mentioned this. Let me tell you why. There's a second report of the same story. Of the same story. All right. So you know, in Minecraft, you can use dynamite. To right. Yes. It that's, up. that's what I was. Of course, the Danish government, the geolog, the geolog, <laughs> the geologists thought of this, so they disabled the Dude, dynamite. From a, okay. All right. They released this to the public. Now here's a report. From GameSpot. All right, so let me read this to you. So the Danish Geodata Agency recently recreated the entire country, as we just said, blah, right. blah, 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 blah. Okay, they wanted to use it as a teaching tool. Good. Now, when they released it to the public, gamers use the minecarts as dynamite. <laughs> Or they have dynamites in minecarts. Right. I don't know. I don't play this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's something yeah. with minecarts and they... <laughs> So almost immediately. So wait, but they disabled the. They disabled dynamite, but with using this the mine carts, you can it blow things. It out. Oh, wow. Okay, right. So he, here's what happened. Uh, players almost immediately began blowing it up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They weren't supposed to be able to. The Danish geodata agency disabled the ability to use dynamite, but neglected to disable the mine cart with dynamite item. <laughs> According to the register, players discovered this, set off explosives in several Danish wow. towns, and built American tanks American? and flags on top of the ruins. Of course they would. Of course, of course they, they would. damn would. So here we're talking about all this thing, <laughs> and, uh, all these educational up. purposes. The, the ki- you know what the kids said? They blew up the fucking, the whole... America, uh, yeah. America. And they planted American flags. And uh, they built tanks, so they actually... They, <laughs> that is hilarious. They yeah. actually had to go out of their way and build a tank so it would look like a tank. <laughs> oh, my God. I just think that's the... Fu- like, it's in one way, I know you should be mad and be like, oh, these... You know, you're shaking your head like, how could we? That's, you know, such a beautiful thing. But on, your, on the other side, you're like... <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course they did. Are you kidding? That's the first thing I would have done. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. would have found a way to destroy everything. Yeah. Some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> can, wait, you so? But you, well, you can't build tanks in Minecraft, right? No, you can't build. You can build you know, like something that looks like a. Tank. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. they have to go out of their way because you can't build. You there's can you can make a cannon like mm. uh, it's like a whole thing, but yeah. you can't make an actual tank that works. Yeah, and so they, they just, just <laughs> made a tank so it looks. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god. America continues to march <laughs> march around the globe. Dead, like it, you can't even you can't even hide from us in the digital world. Not even in the digital world. We're there too. Oh, oh my god. god. Kids are funny. And so that was as soon as the public release. Wow. Yeah. And they released it, I'm assuming they released it, you know, worldwide, I guess, for people to like take a look at it. Well I wonder how this works too, because like do they they had their own? I imagine they had like a separate copy of it. Yeah, right? yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, you can you can say like a lot a while back. I saw some guy not the Bat Cave. Uh-huh. But he made a Bat Cave, you know, with a door that opens up like uh-huh. all crazy. He had like a little thing where you can punch in a code and items will come uh-huh. and you can just pack up. It, it was like it's stuff crazy the stuff you can do. Yeah. So, but it was a map that he made and released it, so you can take the map and use it yourself. Okay. okay. So. 
yes, it would suck if this was their original yeah. thing. But I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that uh, there's no way they could have done it like that. Yeah, there's yeah. no way they would have only released that. They have had to let you know people be able to download uh, okay. copy the map because I'm sure that's. I mean, that's what they can do. So there's no way they yeah. would allow for something like that. So I'm assuming this story is like the gamers. Uh, got their own copies and recorded themselves blowing yes, it up. Yes, that's, okay. that's what it is. It's probably most likely what it is. <laughs> yeah, because, oh my god, imagine if it was the original and you just see your entire work destroyed. Yeah. Oh my god. No, I mean, because I've had, I've had friends who played Minecraft and, like, they've lo- literally lost friendships. <laughs> like, because, like, somebody else came into their game and started just messing around right. and, and it's just like, oh, bro, like... <laughs> It took me 10 hours to make that room, like, you know, like, <laughs> the, so, you know, it's a serious thing. Yeah, for no, some people. yeah. Huh? Well, it's, if they didn't take that precaution, then they're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, for them, I, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping they did it. They yeah. took that precaution. And yeah, or, really, took a, or at least took pictures <laughs> of every, yeah, like. well, yeah, I'm assuming, because they have, you know, all the data, it's probably, I mean, that's the thing, like, they're the jail data, so they must have all this stuff, like, you know, data files so yeah. I'm sure they it's I mean we, we might think it hard like we might think I think it's impossible right now yeah. like I, when I first heard it, when you first told me I was like this mm. dude what yeah. how can they recreate but I'm sure with all the data they got it's probably a lot easier than um, I'm think, imagining yeah. like yeah. I'm trying to like walk around Denmark with my iPad yeah. putting each block where it belongs that's what I'm trying to walk around fucking <laughs> <laughs> LA like yeah <laughs> Trying to walk around goddamn North Hills and see what the hell's going on like, <laughs> in each building. That's crazy, though. Um, this section is known as Would You Rather. For me. <laughs> All right. So All Would right. You Rather is a little game we're going to play, and we're going to ask each other two questions of Would You Rather Do This or That? These questions could be either gaming-related or non-gaming-related. I'm going to ask you two, and you're going to ask me two. You have your questions ready? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go first, or you want me to go first? You Are we going to do, like... Uh... I'll um, go one, you one, and one, all one, right. one. All right, so you can go. go ahead. Okay. You are a Pokemon trainer. Okay. You're stranded on an island. Okay. Uh, you have two Pokemon. You have Squirtle and Pikachu. Okay. Squ- Squirtle can swim right now. Right. He broke. I'm assuming. His... I'm assuming I just left Viridian City out of the forest. You know. He's so. really weak and and. <laughs> Nurse, uh, whatever her name Nurse is. Nurse Joy. She's hot. Uh, <laughs> Nurse Joy can't hear him right now, unfortunately. You guys are starving. Okay. Uh, somebody's gonna die if, <laughs> if you guys don't eat. There's nothing on this island, by the way. Um, this is just like a blank. Would you rather... <laughs> would you rather eat Squirtle or Pikachu go? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Pikachu or Squirtle? Can I be one of those trainers who's like, I love my Pokemon, so I'm gonna let oh, them eat me? <laughs> my God. You're a fucking little bitch if you say that. No. No, no, okay, but no. You're gonna eat but one seriously, of these motherfuckers. Okay. All right, I'm thinking purely on hunger and instinct right now. All right, I have a turtle and a mouse, basically. Okay. You know, this is another question I've had, like, do you just eat the Pokemon in the show? I mean, they have to. But okay. They do, right? I mean, we eat chicken. Yeah, we eat chicken. Okay, <laughs> but okay. So, I have a fucking electric mouse and a turtle that shoots water. I'm on an island, so I'm, I might have water. Yeah. I probably can't make a fire. So, if I have to eat something now, I, I would want to cook it. Uh huh. So, I've heard turtle stew is pretty good. <laughs> yes. So, I'm sorry, Squirtle. But Pikachu is gonna cook you. Oh my god! And I'm gonna eat that turtle. See, you're smart. I already like, <laughs> like thought of that. I would never eat Squirtle. Squirtle was my first Pokemon. And Pikachu is a crying ass bitch. <laughs> the only thing that Pikachu says is Pika. He doesn't even say his whole fucking name. <laughs> Fuck that. He's a dumb Pokemon. He says Pika Pika. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, I'm, I mean, I was going. I mean, if I went off. Who I like more, obviously, I would eat Pikachu. Yeah. But oh, you like Squirtle more too? Yeah, obviously yeah. more than Pikachu. I mean. Yeah. But I love both of them. But yeah, yeah. But I do love Squirtle. More. I was thinking myself like I'm stuck on an island. I'm a real trainer. Like you know, I went, I went deep. I was like, I'm a real Pokemon trainer. Yeah. But I'm about to die. And my Pokemon are about to die. What yeah. Do I do? Yeah, you have to. No, that's smart. Good luck. <laughs> Respect. Respect. 
All right, your turn. All right. So I know you're a big fan of Halo, but yes. I also know you're a big fan of God of War. That is true. I like both of these. Okay. okay. So I just, I mean, who shoes would you want to be in? Would you want to be in Master Chief shoes or Kratos? Shoes? Master Chief. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even gonna. <laughs> this is not even a question. Well, I mean, I should. I, I was just. Uh, okay. First, let me say, Kratos is a beast. Right. I love his anger. I love that he tears people's limbs off. <laughs> I love that he fucks random bitches whenever he wants to. <laughs> Aphrodite. Aphrodite and all these other random swizzies. <laughs> no, they're they're fine. They're they're sexy too. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, they're good. No, 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 no. But Master Chief and and Kratos is a god. By the end of part one. If you didn't know that, spoiler alert. <laughs> God, if you... Spoiler alert after. So somebody like... No! Like, I never played... Oh my if God. If you're listening to this, I hope you play God of War. Yeah. At least know about it. Okay. But Master Chief is a fucking beast. Period. <laughs> like, he... I just... I don't even like... Can't even describe how much of a beast he is. He's more than a god. <laughs> He's like... What's more than a god? I don't know. I don't... He's the universe. He's transcendent. <laughs> transcendent. He's a, are almost gone. Never mind. He's omnipotent. <laughs> all right, and he has Cortana. That's the thing. He has true love. And Kratos, I, I rather have true love in my life. Kratos is complete just, vengeance. Yeah, he's just okay. Life. Yeah, Kratos is just sad all the time. Right. But Master Chief is fighting for something, and that's something. Yeah, he's fighting for Cortana. something that's, that's still with him, pretty much. Yeah, Master Chief is. I mean, Kratos is fighting for what? Okay. Yeah, Master. And, yeah. He, he doesn't fight for humanity. No, Master, Master Chief doesn't fight for anything right. but Cortana. Exactly. I don't care what anybody <laughs> says. That's what it is. Okay. Would you rather... This is freaky, actually. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> right. This might be like... Cause, okay. Would you rather like, have sex... Wow, okay. With Princess Peach... <laughs> wow. Princess... Right. Or Princess Zelda? Oh. <laughs> Both kids games, go. <laughs> yeah, both both of the kiddies games you can get. Well, yeah. Uh, you know what? I don't think I can handle all the drama with Princess Peach. <laughs> you know, seems too much there. I mean, there's a lot of drama on both sides, but you know, she's messing with yeah. like turtles and all this other stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you, if you mess with Princess Peach, you're gonna end up in a weird four-way with, <laughs> with Mario and Bowser. And it might not work out. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I mean, Zelda, I mean, she's elegant, you know. Yeah. I mean, she has pointy ears, though. That doesn't she is, She's an elf. I mean, you like elves? Not necessarily. I'm just explaining why she has the pointy ears. Do you look up elves' cosplays? And <laughs> Cosplay? Cosplays? Just ignoring me? <laughs> oh, I mean, but right. no, I, I would... Yeah. I think Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. For the record, I would have chosen Zelda without even thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, but you, it just caught me off like fucking yeah. kid. So, I'm like, great, that question. Zelda, One of those questions. When I was a kid, I watched the Zelda cartoons. You know, oh, was, the old ones? They were terrible. <laughs> but Zelda was hot. She was a hot teenager and I was, a, <laughs> and I was like an eight, eight year old. So it, was, it wasn't weird back then. It wasn't weird. It is and weird then, talking about it right now. Right now, now she's a teenager and I'm an adult. So <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say she was hot. All right. <laughs> Since we're on that subject, I guess I'll, I... I was just thinking, you were really big on Marvel too. Yes, There's... I love Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is the greatest fighting game ever made. I don't care what anybody else says. No one's saying anything. Else. Okay. I agree. But okay, there's two, I think people would say they're very attractive. Okay. Movies. On both sides of, you know. Yes, cartoons, so... <laughs> sprites are so super sprites, sexy. Yeah. All right. So, nerds with you... nerds with glasses, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, nerds with glasses. Uh huh. Okay, so okay. would you rather Chung Li or Psylocke? <laughs> Psylocke. <laughs> Another Sorry. straight Psy... No thinking at all. When the answer comes, you just know. no. It is true. I mean, all right. I mean, let me start with Chung Li. Her hair is weird, dude. I don't her like little it. pigtails, loop de loops. Yeah, like well, they look kind of like Princess Leia's on because she has oh, the things. Right. Oh, you're right, you're right. You know that fucks with me. I can't <laughs> yeah. It. You know, and she's a little masculine. Like you ever seen her legs? They look like tree dude. trunks. Tree trunks, dude. They look. Those it's like kicks need those legs though. If if you did it with her, it'd be like <laughs> with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You see those fucking legs? Yeah. They're like okay, Psylocke is hot, dude. She <laughs> she's super super hot. 
But Chun Li made me a man, though. Did I ever tell you that? No. The first time I realized I like girls, like, like you know, in a sexual way, was, <laughs> okay. was like an EGM article. Now EGM was let. Yeah, I don't know if you ever heard of his it. uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. It's a yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a magazine, yeah. right? And they used to have little like fan made um, comics, comics yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, so they had like this love story between her and Ryu, and they're like by a lake. And then she takes off the pigtails, oh, and she has loose, yeah. beautiful hair. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> she is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but no, you're right. You're right. Uh-huh. I mean, I Chung Li, but I would have chosen Sawaki immediately. There you I go. I was just, you know, there trying you to go. think of two girls in the game. Yeah. And I couldn't... Cammy, too. Cammy, Cammy, but I was trying to think, you know, like... She's I mean, crazy. She's crazy, but when you think of, like, the game, like, you can pick Zelda and Peach. Yeah. Big names. Yeah. But I was thinking Marvel 2. Who would who would everyone know if they played ever played Marvel 2? Yeah. Hopefully, Chong Lee and Psylocke. Yeah. Cammy, too, you know, but I was thinking of the time. Psylocke's a good character, too, to play. Yeah, like, exactly. She fucking kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways... Nerds with Glasses, episode one. How do you, how'd you feel about it? How do you feel? Good? Yeah. If, we, if we, We'll get better. We'll get we'll, better, We're yeah. going to do it. So we're going to be doing this every single week. Um, we're going to release it Mondays. Is that three? Uh, at 3 p.m. on Mondays. You'll be, you can download it in the description below. And uh, it'll be on iTunes, too, to listen to. But uh, we'll be doing giveaways every single week. So this week... Every? Okay. Yeah. Small giveaways. <laughs> I mean, we're not giving away an Xbox One. We're not giving away. Right, uh, right. Maybe on a special occasion we'll give something else. Right. So this week we'll give away either a month of Xbox Live Gold or a month of PlayStation PSN. Plus. Yeah, PSN code or whatever. And in order to win, in the description, or I mean in the comments below, you'll have to give us an idea for would you rather. Right. right, and it doesn't have to be sexual. It or, could be fucking Pikachu or Squirtle. It could be it, something, anything. Yeah, as long it, as it's a choice between two things. And it doesn't have to be gaming related. It could, be, you know, we should, we did gaming because we're gamers. But right. like, if it it could be anything, would you rather? And we're gonna choose our favorite. Yeah, so me and Javier are gonna choose our favorite one, and then we'll announce the winner next week. Hopefully. Next next week, <laughs> and then <laughs> next <laughs> next week we'll have another giveaway, and it won't. Be the same. You can't. We're not gonna win the same way, but right. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll definitely read off the would you rather and answer it. Yeah. But we will probably be doing different segments at the end. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tune in next week again, 3 p.m. on Monday. Uh, I don't know what the fuck date is. Whatever. Yeah, Just whatever. Monday. We'll, we'll put it in the description. We'll put it in the description. For. You will see. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. Here we go. Oh.